Hi everyone, um, to follow up with the written review of my new uke um, on Got A Ukulele, this is the video shot that I'm giving you. Um, I had it a couple of weeks, Big Island concert, traditional series, Koa Ukulele. I say it's a concert, whilst it's a concert neck, although it's a long concert neck with a lot of, a lot of frets. The body is actually um, very big. Um, I'd call it a jumbo concert. It's not billed as a jumbo concert on their website, but it's certainly big, and in fact, considerably bigger than my other concert ukuleles. And the body size not too far off the size of my tenor ukes. So, made by Big Island, um, actually put together in Vietnam, which brings the price down. A um, bit like Canalea do with their Islander series and Koaloa do. Um, it brings the price down but what what makes Big Island different is that they actually grow and harvest and cut and mill all of their own tone woods so we have this nice book matched koa um, and ship that out to Vietnam for assembly and the result is an instrument that is absolutely beautiful in finish um, I cannot fault this at all I've been over it every millimeter of it and it is absolutely stunning so we've got a nice nicely book matched two piece solid koa top with some nice grain i mean we're not talking curly koa here but it's it's nice and whilst i can't really show you on this video camera uh nice sort of shimmer to it um and nice feature is the fact that the top woods are book matched with the back so from the same pieces uh, of wood same slices which is a nice touch the sides themselves nice straight grain and again it's a two two piece sides like you see there's a little bit of a mismatch on the book ma book matching here that i suppose you wouldn't get with a, a luthier instrument but um you know on the whole it is absolutely wonderfully put together ignore the strap button i fitted that myself that doesn't come as standard we've got an indian rosewood um, bridge and a uh, bone saddle it's a compensated saddle which supposedly helps with tuning but to be honest i've never had a problem with straight saddles myself and it is very very nice there's our big island logo inside from hilo in hawaii um the neck is mahogany i actually thought the neck was a one piece there's certainly no no join here everything from here all the way up to the top is is solid wood there is actually um, a two-piece join here I mean I can't I can't even show it you because it matches so perfectly but it is actually a two-piece neck Indian rosewood fretboard with silver nickel frets uh, and I do like the way the fretboard comes all the way down to the sound hole um, inlays for the fret markers are abalone and we have white fret markers to match on the sides and up to a bone nut which is which is nice and low um, I, I don't like as I said in the, the written review I don't like uh, nuts that are very high and then have very deep slots cut into them this is uh, there's not a lot to this nut and the strings are nicely resting on the top so they're not going to catch um, the strings shouldn't be in grooves that are too deep they should um, they should be in nicely shaped nuts and this is no exception and the headstock obviously it's mahogany at the back but it's faced with more Hawaiian color and the Big Island logo inlaid very nicely inlaid in abalone um, the tuners are unbranded sealed geared tuners um, I do prefer friction tuners but um, you know I, I don't have a problem with geared tuners and I've got geared tuners on my Kanalei ukulele what I do have a problem with with these tuners is how big they are okay we've got nice small buttons and these are wooden color buttons as well but it's just a bit of a Mickey Mouse effect I think they stick out too far and I think the shafts on the tuners need to be that little bit shorter here to bring them in a little bit or have them set at an angle so that they don't stick out as much. But, you know, that is the pretty much the only gripe I've got with the instrument. It doesn't affect the way the instrument plays. It's a minor looks feature. But there we are. Sorry, I'm spoiling the image here with um, 
my tatty um, headstock. The reason I've got a tatty headstock is I changed the strings, and I suppose that's another gripe that I mentioned in the written review. These ukuleles come with a keel of strings. Um, I actually had some comments on that written review um, asking me what problem I have with a keel of strings. I don't have a problem with a keel of strings. I use a keel of strings on certain of my instruments, and I think, I think they're a wonderful company. Um, and obviously their marketing is doing really well because what I'm finding is virtually every ukulele that's worth its salt these days seems to come strung with Aquilas. Um, and I personally don't think Aquilas are, this is just my personal view, I don't think Aquilas are really the sort of strings you want on a solid, sweet, wooden ukulele like this. I mean, they came on my Canalea as well, which I equally don't understand. I find that they overpower the instrument, they can make it a bit boomy. And they don't really sort of don't really give it that sort of chime. What I've fitted, what I fitted here are worth clear dense strings, which I am very very pleased with. They 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 give the sound that 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 I wanted. Um, so that's it really in a nutshell. It is highly recommended if you've uh, if you've got the means it's it's priced far less than a hawaiian ukulele um but it is hawaiian in its origin the company is hawaiian the woods are hawaiian it's beautifully finished i can't go on enough about that it is absolutely wonderfully finished and put together uh it feels solid it's not too heavy it's comfortable to hold it's um it's all good news. All good news. So, there we are. Final comment. I thought I'd wear my Chalking Fackle t-shirt to give a bit of free advertising to the guys in the band. Thanks very much for listening. More reviews on Got a Ukulele soon.